the the first impression when you when you take a look at a bridge you think that this one is a simple structure they are actually not a simple structures they are really complicated the uh, the main thing for them they are in uh, in uh, two directions in the transverse directions and the longitudinal direction and if you have skew if you have uh, curvature that will make it more complex the you know for the important thing to to see what will be the difference between a bridge and a building is the redundancy in a bridge we don't have that much as we have in a building construction if we go through the historical background for the for the performance of the highway bridges they have not actually performed well and that poor performance was mainly to the design philosophy and to the lack of attention of the detail the other one is that the discontinuity is that once you want to design a bridge for the gravity load it's far uh, different than when you want to to do the design for for a seismic load the USGS actually tell us that 40 percent of the US can really sustain earthquake damage from seismic events and in the eastern and the central part the earthquakes do not vanish actually very quickly attenuate very quickly and it will be really felt over a wide area so that's why we need to pay attention for the seismic design of the highway bridges on the west coast and the east coast and the central part of the US this box here show you that how we have the design specification unfortunately we are not proactive we wait for for the earthquake to see what happened and then we will go and try to change what are the specification so the first thing we have a construction type and based on that when we have an earthquake we would see the damage that happened to to these type of uh, uh, these type of these bridges and then we will go back and do the revision for the seismic for the seismic specs so as you see here the important thing of of the changes in the seismic specs you will have an earthquake that happened and we have damage to the bridges this is a list of the uh, of uh, of uh, the specs and the time frame for them the most the most important time is february 9 1971 right uh, which is actually last which is actually last day right yesterday was the the, uh, the anniversary of the 1971 the uh, san fernando earthquake that showed that the the uh, that showed that there was a lot of damage of the bridges and if you go through the standard specs you would see that under the article 1.2.20 they would tell you that uh, that you will you you have to design for for a percentage of the weight which is about two to six percent 1975 they have changed it to to take it actually the CT which is the Caltrans type procedures for the seismic design 1981 this is when we have the ATC 6 this is the seismic design guidelines 1983 this is where it became an ASHTO seismic guidelines 1989 this is Loma Prieta earthquake then they are part of the of the standard specs then we have moved to the ASHTO specification in 1994 and in 2003 this is when we started to talk about displacement design and that was the the ATC and the MCR 49 in 2008 there was a major change in the ASH to lot of these specification the major change came from the spectrum and from the uh, uh, the exceedance for the earthquake probability of the exceedance and that was in in 2008 in 2009 we had the first guide specs for the LRFD seismic design and that was based on displacement based design uh, the uh, sixth the for the sixth edition that actually came out uh, in, uh, two weeks ago that was a major change in uh, section six that's where we have the seismic provision for uh, steel bridges and also last year and that came out uh, a few weeks ago that was the second edition for the ASHTO guide specs so that will give you a brief that will give you a brief 
uh, you know, for the outline of the specification. So we are under 2000, under uh, uh, the 2008, that was a major change in uh, the seismic specification, and that will actually continue with the sixth edition. These are the main, uh, uh, these are the main things for the damage for, for the highway bridges.